welcome back to Out of Controllers in what is, if God willing, the last <laughs> fucking episode of this. Are you it's getting probably tired not of this going to be the last. It's probably not going to be the last. Um, I know it won't be, but I'm just like, there's no more notes for us to find. So, like, I can't oh, imagine how they would drag this out yeah, any yeah. farther. Oy, oy, oy. But yeah, I cannot imagine how they're going to drag this out any longer. That's the wrong way, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can go home and put in another movie. <laughs> Daniel clicks faster, so he is now in control. Oh, uh, yeah, I also just fucking took control because I could. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do open, give me that video Wrong tape. video. How do you know? I. That's still the wrong one. It puts it red line. Yeah. Put it in. Yep. Whoa. What kind of homework he's bringing home from Daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory? Oh boy. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. Oh. Daryl's mm -hmm. selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Oh boy. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encoding, huh. and signature intelligence. I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal, but it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude, can you imagine? This Holy dude is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. Oh, Coolis just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc., etc. And some other stuff I don't understand. So it's but not Jake's a, after all. Huh. Back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. <laughs> LOL. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar, attending my bot on my very own private island, retired at 17. Dread Isle Resort. Uh huh. <sighs> Aunt Eloise? Is that you? No, it's not. Mm, okay. This is scary time. Time to go. Time for Nancy Drew to get murdered. Turn off the TV. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. I turned way. the wrong way. I'm sorry. It's fine. Detective Beach, I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seem kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. Oh. No. You said my journal. You said that you found my journal. Nancy, I really didn't expect you to kind of pull that kind of shit. Why don't we step into the living room and have oh, a nice boy. chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? Well, that's why you hired me. Goes, no, that was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. Who's dead now. But stop with this mm. delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? Hmm. All right. Um, where should we lie about it? Um. I don't know, but I'm really glad he's being patient with us. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I hope that none of these really affect anything. Should we stay in the sofa? So. Or let's stay behind the tapestry, because then he'll... It's farthest away from the door. Okay, yeah. It's in the entrance, behind the tapestry. What's the combination? Uh, oh, tell him the wrong one. Yeah, anything that's not, that's the right Mu, one. Mu, Pi, Phi, Zeta. Yeah. Mu, Pi, Phi, Zeta. That's not it, Nancy. Kappa, Lambda, Kappa, Sigma. Kappa, Lambda, Kappa, Sigma. Uh, uh. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. 
What's the combination? Delta, Delta, Delta. Delta, 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 Delta. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> oh, man. ...to another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach. And hello, prisoner number 4321A. Whoa. <laughs> LOL. Wow. ID unknown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's definitely just not letting him work anymore. That's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> I Who? can't believe. Who lies under a beach blanket at the beach? You are you're supposed to be on top of it. Yeah, you think so. Oh fuck! Was what? it the memorial, memorial library? Yeah. Ned uh. Defender. We got an Easter egg. Money grubber for finding all those shiny quarters. Um, Q for following up. We didn't get every lead. We didn't read every... Uh, we probably clicked through every single book. Mm. Incredible. Barnacles! <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't really we care. We definitely did Grape Grape I Orange Pool. I can't fucking believe. I cannot fucking believe that... Her aunt is so paranoid about this fucking safe. What if somebody finds my portrait puzzle lockbox? <laughs> I hate when people steal that from me. <laughs> That's what she sounds like. So, she like has a giant fucking cage. Well, that was the last thing. So that was kind of nice because we figured out most of it on our own. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I would not have figured out the fucking Ned Defender. Yeah, no. Ned Defender, <laughs> we we. Oh my goodness. It's it. I honestly wouldn't have been a Ned Defender except for the fact that, that guy was so fucking creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. You know what? Hmm. This is the first game on Out of Controllers that we have played through its story mode to completion. Woo! <laughs> I'm really proud also, of us. Also, and we did it in one night. <laughs> also, don't we don't need to say I that. I was right. This was the final episode. Yeah. Ah, nicely done. Suck it, Dan. <laughs> I just was saying, at our speed, we probably wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Nerd yeah. would have clicked on the school for once <laughs> instead of going into the house. I mean, no, it would have taken me forever to figure out that element puzzle. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. And it's almost as if we should have been writing down all the notes related to elements on a piece of paper God. so we could easily reference it. It's it, would, it still would have been too much fucking work. Oh, I know. It would have been fucking terrible. I'm not here for that kind of shit. Yeah. If you wanted to watch people like... fully work through these puzzles, you could probably play it yourself, because you're a little smarty pants, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, and also, I can't believe, okay, I, I got us that bolt cutter, but all you needed it was for the lock in the basement, so, um... We should have gotten an award for, like, brains over brawn for yeah. figuring that out. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, um... The moral of this story is don't be a greedy little shit and try to blackmail people because you're <laughs> especially like shady adults who are selling information because you're probably going to end up dead. Also, or at least behind someone's like paranoid yeah. fucking... <laughs> also, like... Was he ever a real cop? That's my question. No. No? Okay. No. But, like, also, he fucking, like, like, the kid, although he's like, oh, I'm just gonna be able to exploit adults for money and shit, like, dangerous people who have guns and things. Mm -hmm. Like, he had a contingency plan in case he died? Yeah. For a long, like, a while. Yeah. 
feel like he made a lot of videotapes about this weird shit. I mean, I think... Because he was a sneaky little creep that nobody liked. I think part <laughs> of that... Throw. I think he was being an asshole where, like, he was expecting to just sort of vanish. And so he was going to be like, oh, I want people to think I'm murdered. So I'm going to leave up all these obvious clues that say that I'm murdered. And then it's like actually finding the information that tells you what's really going on is going to be super fucking difficult to find. So I don't uh, think he was actually anticipating being murdered. Uh, I don't. Okay. I think he was being a shithead. I suppose we can go yeah. to the credits now. Ugh. Credits. There's going to be music, though. I mean, Yeah, we can have a soft nice. background music. Japan. What Fuck. is... <laughs> <laughs> Negative a billion years ago. Fashion in the cities, to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns. I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Crowmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries. It's not going to be a break. A few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the huh. ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Murder. Nancy, it's murder. Ah! God. Mm. I'm sorry there was a jump scare there. Join me in the I'll put a warning in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, that no, was this terrible. is definitely like a different... We have that one, too. Yeah, it's like a different... So you must have all the games in, like, this series... And then Message no. in a Haunted Mansion is like some well because you said her next adventure is Danger at the Water's Edge. It's not Message in a Haunted Mansion. Eh. I might just have to play that one by myself. And... No, that's the next one. <laughs> that's number two in the list. Okay. We're playing if it. You say so. We're gonna have to get the file to a place where we can record it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We'll figure Maybe it out. Maybe you can do it on yours. I don't know. Well, I'd rather it's... do it on yours. I think. Okay. Be easier. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, yeah. thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah, Is this just all of our notes scrolling by? Some notes we definitely didn't I, use. I think it is. It's like the pictures that we yeah, took. Yeah, I think so. LOL. Uh, Mitch Dillon, thank you. Simon, I don't know. Junior even know Detective. Last name. Ah, it's because I'm a doofus. I don't want to say last names. A lot of people made this possible. Thank you Mark for all these Ninja. people. NG. I love these games. They're this really is the cool, first actually. one I've ever finished, actually. Nice. This is the first one I've ever played and finished in a sitting. It, yeah, it's it's so crazy. Again, I would spend hours and hours on these as a kid, specifically Message in a Haunted Mansion. Yeah. But um, I like hardly got anywhere. This right. piano music is my jam. Do it, listeners. Dare to play. Nancy Drew. Secrets can kill. Fuck yeah. Now that yeah. we just showed you how to do everything uh, by looking at walkthroughs and shit. <laughs> to be fair, we didn't need walkthroughs until, like, the very end. It's though. true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yay. All right. Oh, all right. Hi, oh, I'm God. Nancy oh, Drew. Stop. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see so you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>